We're making salt for the Confederate government. We're militia just to help protect some of the civilians here that are actually doing the work. They're just building fires under the kettles and produce as much as we can and get everything started. They're coming, guys. Get ready. First squad prepared to advance, rush! Advance! The Navy and the Marine Corps in Atlanta destroyed a salt works in San Andrews Bay. Them Yankees come ashore, and I told them, I said, I said, when you Yankees talk to St. Peter today and he asks who sent you, you tell him Johnny, John Reb. Well, we're conducting a uh, raid on a salt works and doing living history, explaining to the people of this area what uh, what, how salt was important to the South. This was probably the second largest salt works in Florida. So you had hundreds and hundreds of kettles and thousands of men, basically little small towns. And what they were doing was evaporating sea salt water to get the salt out of it because of the blockade. The salt that was imported from places like Britain was just closed off. Salt was an everyday commodity. It was more important than money and they destroyed about two, two, two and a half million dollars worth of salt in that day's money. Um, it's very important. It's not taught in school anymore, so the only way that you're going to learn it is through living historians like the guys that were here wearing blue and gray today.